Hey guys, as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing my makeup inventory for 2016. I saw Christine from Pink So Foxy do this video, and she's done it for a few years now, where at the beginning of the year she go through, goes through her collection, separates it out into the different categories, and makes a log of how many of each different category um, she has. So how many foundations she has, how many eyeshadows, how many palettes, that kind of thing, and keeps that. And then she sets herself a goal for what she would like to eventually have and throughout the year she works on using things up rather than kind of just mindlessly mindlessly going out and buying things um, she kind of just focuses on using up what she's got and getting down to a more manageable um, collection that she's happy with and I thought that was such a great idea when I saw her video this year I thought yes I'm going to do that because for at least the very beginning of this year, I really need to focus on saving money. You guys know, if you've seen my kind of project pans and pan palettes, I would like to try and get down to a more manageable collection size and just have um, some pieces that I really enjoy using, rather than having a massive collection of lots of things and getting stressed out about it because I'm not going to get to use everything up before it goes bad. I would like to have just a much smaller, nicer collection of products that I really enjoy. Also, um, kind of on a more personal level, Ben has just gone self-employed um, and we won't have his, his income for the next few months. So I really need to tighten the purse strings at the moment and not be spending unnecessarily on things I really don't need, which is kind of the main focus. I'm hoping that doing this makeup inventory will make me see just how much makeup I do have and make me realise that I really don't need to go out and buy another eyeshadow palette or another lipstick in a similar colour to what I already have, that kind of thing. So you can kind of take this and adapt it um, for your own needs and kind of your own goals. So if it's because you want to save money or if you just keep seeming to buy similar shades of lipstick or eyeshadows or blushes or whatever it might be and you kind of get home and you think, oh, I already have a shade that's similar to that, I don't need to keep buying this or whatever the reason might be, obviously feel free to do this. I will leave Christine's video linked below if you want to check that out and kind of see where I got this idea from um, because she does a fantastic job of it and like I said, she's done it for a few years now so you can kind of go back and search on her channel and you'll see um, the other ones that she's done over the years. But I'm going to go ahead now and go through my collection with you, show you just how much I have of each category which might be a bit embarrassing but we're going to go with it um, and then let you know kind of what my goals are for not necessarily this year but just kind of my ideal what I would like to have in each of the those categories and then across the, the course of this year I will hopefully start working towards getting everything down to much more where I'm happy with it. And kind of on that same note I am doing a new Pan That Palette Challenge for this year which if you saw my last video um, I did mention in that that I will be doing a new Pan That Palette Challenge and that video will be up next week so if you want to check that out make sure you subscribe, click the little subscribe button below this video um, and whilst you're down there check out all of my links to all of my other social media and my blog and give the video a thumbs up if you like this sort of video so I know to continue doing them in the future but otherwise let's go ahead and go through my makeup collection. Okay, so I have my list here of all the different categories that I want to kind of keep track of. So I'm going to go through and see how many I have of each of these. So the first category is face primers and I just have a couple of these. I have a miniature of the Benefit Professional and I have the My Little Beauty um, Ember Embrilicia, however you say that, Tent Depeche um, kind of apricot tinted face primer. So there's just two of those. And I'll go through at the end and show you all of my current numbers and kind of what my ideal um, numbers of each of these product categories will be. Next is foundations. Um, technically I only have one foundation but I'm kind of including any foundation type product like BB creams in this category as well. So I have three. I have the Rimmel BB Cream Matte in the shade Light. I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum in the shade 52. And I have this Pure BB Cream in Light as well. So that's three. For concealers I have two. I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum in the shade 52 and I have the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC15. So two concealers. For face powders I have the Maybelline Matte Maker which as you can see I am almost out of which is why I have a second powder here. This one is in the shade Natural Beige and then I have the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder in the shade 52 Vanilla. So again two face powders, I'm doing pretty well so far. For bronzers I have three. I have the one that I'm currently using which is the Body Shop um, Honey Bronzer which as you can see I'm almost out of this one, I really enjoy this one. Um, I also have the 
MUA uh, bronzer in the shade 3, which is also really nice. This is more of a summer colour for me, but it comes off really natural. Um, it's not orangey at all, even though it looks pretty dark. And it's a matte bronzer as well, which is great. And then I also have the bronzer from the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzing... or br Blush and Contouring Duo, sorry, um, which as you can see, um, you might recognise this from my last Pan That Palette challenge, uh, not Pan That Palette, sorry, I've got that on my brain, my last Project Pan, um, I was trying to use this up and that's how far I got and I haven't really touched it since, so I just have a little bit of that left. So all of them I've hit pan on, which is great, so three bronzers. So for highlighters I have one cream and three powders, so the cream one is the Glow Stick from Topshop, um, what shade is this in? Play Up I think, so just obviously highlighter kind of shade, champagne colour. I also have this from Topshop which is um, the highlighter in Sunbeam which is a really yellowy toned um, highlighter, looks great in the summertime. I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I also have the Makeup Revolution Radiant Light Powder in Breathe which is my favourite at the moment so I have four highlighters in total. Blushes is where it seems to get a little bit more crazy. As you can see I have quite a few blushes. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. If you would like me to do um, a collection of certain types of products, if you want me to do my blush collection or my lipstick collection or eyeshadow collection or anything like that, leave that in the comments and I can do that either in a different video or I can do a blog post on it. I've done a few blog posts on collections of lip products in the past and eyeshadows so check that out if you are interested. Um, but yeah, so for blushes, I have two cream blushes, I believe. I have this one from MUA and this one from My Little Beauty. And then the rest of them are powders. So obviously the um, powder blush from this e.l.f. palette. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five e.l.f. blushes. Um, a blush from Bourjois, a NYX blush, three MAC blushes, a Milani one couple more um, MUA, these ones are powders, and then this back here is what is left of my Benefit Coralista, which is one of my all-time favourite blushes, um, and I, I, sp I suppose I could just um, get rid of this, but I love it so much I want to try and keep finishing it up, so I have that one still hanging on at the moment. So in total I have 16 blushes. For brow products I just have four, I have one powder, two pencil and then this one is like a liquid brow colour. Um, so the powder is the Cresty Eyebrow Powder in the shade Charcoal which is actually a really good shade for my brows, it's a really ash tone. Of course I have my favourite brow product which is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Colour in Medium. I have the Rimmel eyebrow, um, eyebrow Pencil in Hazel, and then I have this one from L'Oreal, the Brow Artist. This is way too dark for me as an eyebrow pencil, but I'm kind of hanging on to it because I might use it as an eyeliner, I'm not too sure. I could probably maybe pass that on to somebody else. So, four eyebrow products. For eye bases, I have three of the Maybelline colour tattoos. I have Metallic Pomegranate, On and On Bronze, and Pink Gold. I have Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I have this um, kind of stick crayon eyeshadow base, um, this is from My Little Beauty. I have two from NYX, I have Slate and I have the infamous Milk that everybody went crazy on years and years ago. And I have a gel jumbo eyeshadow stick in the shade Rockout which is a nice kind of charcoal-y colour. So in total I have eight eyeshadow bases. Another crazier category, this is my eyeshadow singles. Um, obviously I have got other eyeshadows that I've got in palettes or single eyeshadows that I've depotted and put into palettes but I'm just going to class those as my palette section which we'll get to in a moment. But these are just my single eyeshadows. Um, so I've got just three single MAC eyeshadows, um, a couple, uh, well it's four in total MAC pigments, Barry M pigment, a L'Oreal eyeshadow, um, a Barry M eyeshadow which is very nice, this is an e.l.f. Um, baked eyeshadow and then the rest of these are all e.l.f.'s mineral eyeshadows which I absolutely love. So in total I have 21 single eyeshadows. Okay, 
palettes. I have a mixture. Most of it is eyeshadow palettes. I also have an eyebrow palette and I have a blush palette. Um, but for the most part, this is all um, eyeshadows and they don't even all fit on the screen. So um, I'm going to start off and then add on to the pile as we go through. So I have um, my first ever Z palette, which I filled up with NYX eyeshadows, Benefit, um, where are we? Benefit eyeshadows, Too Faced eyeshadows, some NARS blushes and NARS eyeshadows. Um, that's actually a bronzer. So that is one. And then I have my second Z palette, which is full of my uh, MAC eyeshadows. So that's two. I have my Urban Decay Sustainable Palette, which may feature in uh, my next video. Little hint at what my uh, Pan That Palette is for this coming year. So I have that, that's three. I have my Urban Decay Naked 2, that's four. My Sleek Storm Palette is five. Uh, Emmy Way Undressed Palette, which is a firm favourite of mine, is six. The um, Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette is seven. I have this palette from Fashionista, which I put together myself, which has um, four blushes in it from Fashionista. So that's eight palettes. The Benefit Browser Go Go is nine. Um, and then I've got some smaller ones. This NYX Eyeshadow Trio in Casablanca is 10. CoverGirl Cover Shimmering Sands Trio is 11. I have these two eyeshadow quads from Rimmel. This one is in Sun Safari, is, uh, what is that, 12? And this one is Smoky Brun, which is 13. I have this NARS Trio in Delphi's, which is 14. This NARS duo in Femme Fatale, which is 15. My Maybelline Design Chocolates Quads, which is 16. And the MAC, um, what is this, Sultry Quad from a couple of years ago, which is 17. Let me just count all of those up again to make sure I've got this correct. So that's 17 palettes in total. Moving on to pencil eyeliners, as you can see here I have a selection of neutral shades and some colours. I got um, an Urban Decay set for Christmas a few years back, so I have quite a few of those. Um, I've got a couple of Two Trues in there, some Rimmel Scandalised ones, a Revlon, um, what else have I got in here? Um, a By Terry one that I got in a beauty box, um, a Gosh one, which the gosh ones are really nice if you're looking for one from, for the, from the drugstore. Um, an e.l.f. This one is, or oh, actually this one and this one are Stila. There's a Rimmel one, the Arcancel black eyeliner that I've been using a lot recently. So a few different ones. So in total I have 19 pencil eyeliners. Liquid liners, I only have three. I have the uh, L'Oreal Super Liner Black Lacquer. This is a waterproof eyeliner. Don't tend to use that. I also have the Rimmel um, Exaggerate Liquid Eyeliner, which is the one that I always used to wear, and I do really still like that one if you're looking for one from the drugstore. Um, but my favourite is this one, which is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's just amazing. So just three liquid eyeliners. And for mascaras, I have this Bourjois Volume Glamour Max Holidays um, mascara, which is the one that I'm using at the moment. I really like that one. I have a little sample of the Dior Dior Show mascara. I have the Laura Mercier. This is the Long Lash mascara. And the last mascara I have is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So four mascaras in total. Moving on to lips. For lip liners, I just have these five. I have three from Gosh. I have a red, a kind of a pinky, rosy shade, and a nude. And then I have two from Rimmel. I have the Moisture Renew um, kind of invisible universal one, which is just um, a clear, it doesn't have any colour to it so you can use it with any colour which is great and then I also have East End Snob which is a, um, a really popular one on YouTube. Lipsticks is another category that I have quite a few of as you can see. Um, I've kind of tried to group them into uh, brands a little bit so I've got five lipsticks from MAC, a couple from Stila, uh, six from Rimmel. Um, I've got some Revlon here, various ones. I've got a lipstick, one of the um, Colour Burst lipsticks, the Ultra HD lipstick, and then three lip butters. 
I have a collection cream puff and a miners matte factor which are basically the same sort of thing um, as we've got a couple of Maybelline lipsticks here another one of these this is a uh, super state 14 hour lipstick a couple of the L'Oreal caress lipsticks four from 17 back here I have one from Avon uh, this one from My Little Beauty, this one from Model Co, and this little mini from Clinique. And then the long, along the back here, um, I have various kind of uh, chubby stick style lipsticks and a liquid lipstick there. So that's my lipstick collection, and in total I have 41 lipsticks. Moving on to lip glosses, I have two of the MUA Intense Kisses, a Tanya Burr lip gloss, one from Benefit that came in a set, this one from Too True which is one of my favourites, these four, these four from um, Soap and Glory, they're the Sexy Mother Pucker glosses, they came in a little set at Christmas time, and a little miniature of the Urban Decay Junkie lip gloss. Over here I have um, a lip gloss from NARS, I have some here from MAC, I have two cream sheen glasses, a Dazzle Glass cream and a Lustre Glass. I have this lip gloss from Barry M, which is really nice, and this one at the end here is one of those L'Oreal um, liquid lipsticks, but it comes off much more like a lip gloss to me, so that's why I keep it in this category. So in total I have 17 lip glosses. Moving on to lip balms, and we're almost done now guys, I promise there's just one more category after this. So for lip balms I have this one which is Love by Lou which came in a beauty box. I have two of the MAC Tender Tones and the Nukes Rev de Mille, which I absolutely love that, I use that almost every single night. I have the Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Balm, the Nivea Essential Care, a Dr Pepper Lip Smackers, this is the Pacifica uh, Colour Drench Lip Tint, the Cherry Chapstick and a Burt's Bees Lip Balm. So in total that is 10 lip balms. And the final category is lashes. I'm not a big lash person, although I do have a few here. I've kind of just collected them because I like the idea of them, but I've never kind of worked up the courage to try them out, so maybe I'll do that this year. Um, so I have uh, these ones from Ardell. These are the fashion lashes. I have these ones, sparkling lashes in, I guess, imagination. Um, they have little kind of rhinestone-y things on them. I have these ones from Isla. They're the Naturalites Evening Wear lashes lashes and then I have three from Eldora which I got from IMATS what is that now two three years ago maybe um so I have the B110s the H149s and I have the B135s so in total that is six pairs of eyelashes okay so here is my makeup inventory at the start of 2016 so Face primers I have two, and I like the two that I have, so I'm going to stick with two. Foundations I have three, and I'd like to get down to just two, so one for the winter months and one for the summer months. Concealers I have two, and I'm very happy with those two. I like having one for under my eyes, and then one for any blemishes on my face, so I'm happy with that. Face powders I have two, and I'd like to get down to just one. I kind of have that at the moment. The only reason I have two is because I'm almost out of my uh, the one that I'm using at the moment, so I have my backup there ready and waiting, so I'm happy with kind of how that is, but um, yeah, I'd like to just have one in my collection. Bronzers I have three, and I'd like to get down to two. Blushes I have 16, and I'd like to get down to five. Highlighters I have four, and I'd like to just have two. Brows I currently have four, and I want to get down to just one. I really like my Stila Stay All Day brow colour, um, so that's the only one that I really need to have in my collection, so I'd like to get down to just that. Eye bases I have eight, and I'd like to cut that in half and just have four. Single eyeshadows I have 21. Um, I'm not sure exactly kind of what sort of shades I would like to have in my ultimate collection so I thought for now I'm just going to slash that number basically in half and aim for just having 10 in my collection. Palettes I have 17 and ideally I'd like to get down to just 5. Pencil eyeliners I have 19 and I want to cut that right down to 7. Liquid eyeliners I have 3 and I'd like to get down to just the one. I don't, again I don't really need any more than that Stila one. I feel like that one will do me just fine. 
Uh, mascara I have four and I'd like to get down to three. I'd like to have one that's kind of more natural, uh, one that's kind of lengthening, volumizing, and then one that's waterproof. Lip liners I have five and I'd like to get down to just three. Just those three gosh ones I think would be enough. Just a red, a pink, and a nude will be fine. Lipsticks I have 41. Again, this one I didn't really think too much about what sort of shades I want in my collection. I've just decided to half it. I do not need 41 lipsticks, so um, I'm going to go with 20. Lip glosses I have 17, and I've cut that right down to 5. I really don't wear lip glosses all that often, um, so I think 5 would be more than enough for my collection. Lip balms I have 10 and I'd like to just have 3 and then lashes I have 6 and I'd like to have just 2. So that is my makeup inventory for 2016. I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know if you would like to have an update throughout the year on how I'm getting on with this. I'm not sure if I will do that or not. I'll definitely be doing an end of year inventory just to see how my numbers tally up at the end and see how I'm getting on with working towards that goal. Um, this might look like a lot of makeup to some of you and it might look like not a lot to um, some others of you but this is just my collection and what I would like to work towards and I'm not saying that um, the numbers that I've said I'd like to get down to is kind of how much I'd like to have overall for the rest of my life. Um, I may go through periods of my life when I'd like a bit more makeup or I may want to really pare it down in the future. This is just kind of what I'm working towards for the moment and I'm not saying that I'm going to be able to get down to that this year either. That's just kind of my aim and it's just kind of to reinforce to myself that I don't need to be buying any more makeup at the moment because this is more than enough to keep me going for a long while. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Check out all of my links below and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! For today I'm going to finish off 2015 with my Pan That Palette Finale. So I have here my Maybelline Designer Chocolate Squad and I'm just going to go through and show you how I got on. Obviously, I did